What's the difference between garlic and black garlic? Well, the obvious difference is the color, where you can see the one is definitely more of this tan caramel color with the standard creamy white of your regular garlic. Now there is also purple garlic, and sometimes regular garlic will even turn blue or green when exposed to enzymes or aging. And what makes this dark caramelized color of the black garlic, not the black cat, is the slow cooking fermentation process that can last as little as 30 days, but usually goes up to 60 to 90 days. Hey, darn, my cat jumping again. Uh, when this process first got started, it's a little bit muddy. You know. Some say it was created in China, others Korea, while some others still say it was Japan. Regardless, from what we know, the process was started in the 1980s. And in 2004, South Korean Scott Kim created the oven that is used to create batches of black garlic today. Black garlic is aged slowly. We're talking like super snail slow. Regular garlic is made by putting it in the ground until it gets to the size it needs to get to, which takes a lot of months. It's slow too, I guess. In order to get black garlic to reach its potential, it's kept in a humidity controlled setting with the ideal temperature around 140 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 to 85 degrees Celsius. And you need to keep the heat there for like that whole 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it is, or it doesn't work. What, does something look different? I feel like I should be doing one of those what's the difference photos. That's the joys of having files corrupted when you do your first recording. <laughs> There's weird raindrops flying from the sky. The heck, it's clear sky. Regular garlic smells like garlic. I mean, do you know what garlic smells like? If you don't, there's not much I can do for you. So many noises. It's killing my sound designer heart. <sighs> Black garlic, on the other hand, has a milder smell. That's because of the fact that it has less allicin compounds. Yeah, it is milder, I would say that. I'd also call it a little bit spicy. Hmm, spicy. Once again, if you don't know how regular garlic tastes, I'm questioning who raised you and why you're even watching this video. Black garlic has a slightly sweet but umami flavor that's a bit nutty. Some describe it as a cross between molasses, shiitake mushrooms, figs, and balsamic vinegar. I can see that. Nutritionally, black garlic has more fiber and iron, while regular garlic has more vitamin C and calcium and less sodium. Now, according to a 2016 study, black garlic has much higher antioxidant levels. And some researchers say that black garlic has five times the polyphenols of regular garlic. Waiting for the helicopter. Do, 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 do. Pass your ass on by. Get the heck out of here. And this means that black garlic can be better for immunity, cancer, heart health, and other diseases as well. While both are good for brain health, black garlic may very well have the edge here too. But the research still isn't really in on this yet. On the other hand, because things like allicin are broken down in the fermentation process, regular garlic is likely better for your blood sugar, cholesterol, and blood pressure. There's even research talking about how black garlic can help with infections and muscle recovery after a workout. Oh, that's no big thing for me. I don't mind dealing with noise. No, it doesn't drive me insane at all. Also on the plus side for black garlic is that the compound allicin that we've mentioned causes a lot of gastrointestinal distress in some people. Which is just a nice way of saying that it gives you gas. And bad breath. And any other benefits they have aren't in contrast. Yay, we're friends again, woohoo! Give some black garlic a try. And if you want to learn more about garlic, go ahead and watch this video next. That's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, good God. This was supposed to be an easy reshoot. Just boom, boom, boom. Like a, you know, really short, but no. Couldn't happen, could it? Go ahead and give black garlic a try, because once you go black, you'll have to have some regular garlic, too, because it's still really good stuff. But black garlic, mighty good stuff, too. I think I had a joke there, but I really didn't know where to take it.